All right, guys, it's Alex here. We'll uh, we'll get rolling. Um, just want to have a just a little bit of a brief conference call here regarding uh, housing and rust mat housing. Um, very briefly, there's a few of you guys that are going to be staying in rust mat hotels that you've specifically requested to be in a hotel, um, and that's a very very small percentage of people. Just want to let you know that stuff will be set up. Um, and you will get confirmation um, from the RustMap people on that. So that's number one um, in terms of if you're a hotel guy. I think there's there's probably only three or four guys that fall into that category. Um, as far as the re as far as the rest of you guys who have requested RustMap housing, um, we are still going through the process here of getting everything set up with the RustMap people. Um, I did speak with their housing director today, and um, we're going to start putting some of that stuff together based on uh, relationships that um, we know exist, guys that you may or may not be working with on a, on a regular basis, especially those guys that um, are working together the entire time due to transportation. Um, and as in the past, uh, Brian Troop, who I know is on the call here with us, um, We'll be organizing um, a lot of the housing in terms of who's staying with who and, and what the houses are and things of that nature, as you can imagine, kind of after the schedule gets accepted, which thank you for taking care of that last night. We've gotten almost 100% of the schedule accepted here. Um, now we've got to go back and make sure everything makes sense in terms of housing and who's with who and, and all of those type of, uh, type of different things. Um, I, I do want to say up front, and I think it should go without saying, but um, just remember when when you're in rust mat housing, you're you're in a domain that is a shared domain, and you're you're representing yourself, you're representing our group, you're representing wherever you're coming from, and and just a reminder to act in a responsible way and make sure you're considerate of the place you're staying, the property, and then also you know, the people that you may or may not be staying with. So please make sure that that's a priority for you. Um, obviously, that's probably the quickest way to, to get sent home. All that being said, you guys should have fun. You guys should have a good time in, in the houses that you're in with the people that you're, you're with and, and, and enjoy yourselves. There, there's nothing that says you can't enjoy yourself. But obviously, there's a, a fine line there between, you know, having fun and, having a few beers and, and then taking it, you know, overboard and, and, and creating a problem where, you know, police are called and all that kind of stuff. So I, I assume we won't have those type of problems, but I would be remiss if I, if I didn't say it up front. Um, so, Brian, I think you're with us. Are, are there a few things you want to say about housing in terms of um, – kind of some of your expectations and kind of the process you're going to go through here in, in the next few days to, to make sure that guys are getting the requests that they want and if there's anything that you need from the umpires at this point. I thought Brian was on the phone. Maybe he's not. He might have muted it and have unmuted it. Uh, let's see. Hey, hey, Alex. Yeah. Brian had made mention that. He... No, he's on the he's on the line. I know that. I know he's coming out of a basketball game. Um, we'll give him a second here. Who knows where he is in the hills of New Hampshire? Okay, well, um, maybe he'll he'll surface out of a, probably a bad cell area here shortly because I do see that he's on the line. But um, this previous Monday evening, um, I guess maybe Sunday evening, um, we had sent out a spreadsheet, and that listed for you guys preliminarily the dates you were working, which now you've actually seen in Arbiter, as well as the dates that you would check in and check out. And um, I've heard from some of you guys with changes to that. 
Um, so if there's if you review that spreadsheet and there's any changes that need to be made in terms of your check in and check out date that you haven't communicated to me, um, please let me know so we can make those updates. Um, that's that's important. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's a thousand percent set in stone. It, you know, if, if you're going to stay an extra day or something of that nature, I, we can certainly work with you on that. Um, but anything you can do to make sure that those dates are accurate, um, that would be a great help for us from an organizational standpoint. Um, so again, the, the dates that we're working with here are, um, it is Wednesday, and I'm hoping by Monday or Tuesday of next week, um, we'll have a, a pretty clear idea of um, the locations where everyone is, the houses where everyone is, and obviously at that point kind of in the same way as this whole organizational detail needs. If, if you guys are in a situation where there's an issue or someone you're driving with and you're not together, we, we still have the opportunity to make some changes. So the biggest thing is please pay attention to your emails, pay attention to anything that comes out regarding Rust Mat Housing, and um, just make sure if, if anything is asked for in terms of your response that you please give that to us as soon as you can. Um, are there any questions? I don't have that many people on the call tonight, so if there are any specific questions, I, I can take those at this time. Is there anybody that has anything they want to ask that they think would be for the benefit of the group? Obviously, if you have something personal, personal we can get that offline. Go ahead. Hey, Alan. Yeah. Um, I'm Bill Berger. I'm one of the guys that are in the hotel. Sure. Um, how far are the hotels away from the complex? Um, I believe the hotel for the Davenport, for the Lake Myrtle Chain of Lakes people is going to be the Days Inn Davenport. That's what um, Rob Sitz from Russmat told me this afternoon. So. I don't know exactly how far that is. I can't imagine Davenport's that big, and I'm sure you can pull it up on Google Maps here for for yourself, um, you know, in, in time. Okay. Thank it's you. about 30 to 40 minutes from either place. Okay, so it's going to require, um, uh, you know, transportation, some sort of... Absolutely. Oh, yeah, that, there's no doubt it will require transportation. Okay, thank you. Anyone Alex. else? Yeah, Alex Willie's um, Willie Byers here. Um, just to confirm, um, if you need a confirmation with a departure date, what email address should I respond that to? Uh, Russmat at umpires dot org. Okay, thank you. And I, guys, I, I don't need confirmation. If if what's in the spreadsheet is listed and is correct then we have that. You don't have to confirm. Only I only need to know if there's a change. Yeah, um, yeah there, there, there was just a slight change with my departure day. You got me okay. leaving a day, or a day early. That's all. Okay, yeah, just, just throw it in an email and we'll take care of it. I appreciate it, Willie. All right, okay. thank you. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex, can you hear me? Hey, Brian, how are you? I'm good, okay. You, a couple so, things. Go ahead. Everybody, uh, everybody, uh, I've been working on this. I got pretty much from the information I've received, who's going to stay in what in a particular house. Uh, from so that's pretty much done. The people that have been there before know how it works, so they should be all set. Uh, you got to figure how many nights you're going to be staying, times twenty dollars a night, and either bring me a check or cash, and I believe it's going to be made out to Russmat, comma, LLC. That's correct. And uh, I will have each person, a person in each house responsible for just picking up the checks, and then they can get them to me so you don't all have to run around and look for me. Um, I want to reiterate what uh, Alex said about the housing. Uh, those are the people's houses. So we need to treat them like uh, actually better than they're our own. So, and if there's any problems, you need to get a hold of me. If, if anything gets broken or something doesn't work, just get a hold of me and uh, we'll take care of it. Um, all these houses, from what I can see here, I've, I've been here many times. So, 
We're talking a good 30 minutes on, on most of them. That's without any major traffic delay. So we're going to see if we can get some houses that are closer to Lake Myrtle and um, Winter Haven because those are uh, out there by the, pretty much together, but they're 30, 40 minutes away from uh, where we've stayed in the past in Davenport. Now, if anybody, if anybody has any... Um, that they want to stay with certain people, uh, just send me an email or something. I'll see what I can do. But I pretty much got the information from Dan and Alex of who wants to stay with who, and I already know some of the guys from previous years. So we'll do the best we can here. Brian, do you want to just give them your email address for the, the guys that may not have it from the past? Yeah. Sure. It's... B B two Bs T R O U P E at Comcast dot net. And guys, anything and my cell to... my cell phone. Oh, sorry, Brian. My cell phone six zero three seven eight five eight two nine two. So if anybody wants to call me, I'll be I'm around most of the day, usually during the day. So give me a buzz if you need some information or whatever, and like we said, we should have this information out to you, the address, and there's probably going to be a lockbox on the on the door, so our, our key code key code to get into the unit. So we'll supply that too, also for you. And yeah, what time it, you can actually check in? It's probably going to be around three or four. Yeah, it sounds like from talking to the housing people today that um, not only will we confirm with you, but they will also have a have an email chain going with all of this information. The the words they used to me were door codes. I don't know if that means code to a lockbox right. that has a key or, you know, one of the newer kind of fancier door codes where everybody uh, uses it. But in terms of keys and locks and all that, please be respectful of the fact that there's a, a lot of people in the house. Obviously, there's valuable stuff in there. So you know, let's let's make sure we have an agreement of how the house is going to be locked among all the people that are there so, so we don't have anything unfortunate happen. Uh, uh, yes? Question. This will be my first up. time staying Over. there. Um, the, as far as the, the bedding goes, uh, should I expect that uh, I'll be the only one sleeping in my own bed or if I get up at whatever 10 o'clock in the morning somebody else will be sleeping in there before it gets I guess cleaned Brian can you talk to that just cleaning and and beds and bedding and all that kind of stuff how that how that works well uh, every all the beds should be made when when you get there uh, there's no um, laundry service or anything like that. So if you're if you're only there for like a week, you need to wash your sheets and everything and put them back on the bed so the next person will have a clean bed. But uh, there'll be nobody sleeping in, you know, beds together. That's for damn sure. <laughs> um, so we're, not, we're not sharing it's, beds. It's, it's, no, we're not sharing. You, you, you might have to share. Uh, there might be two beds in a room that you might have to share, but. That would be the that would be the only thing because okay. depending upon how many how many beds in a house we we're, we're going to fill them all so usually there's six or seven it's probably like three singles and then uh, two doubles. Did you say that information is on the arbiter too for the housing? No, that information mm, will not be no. on arbiter. Where, where do I get that information at? What information are you looking for specifically? You said the, you said the spreadsheet. Yeah, that spreadsheet was sent out on probably Sunday evening from the rustmat dot rustmat at umpires dot org account. Okay, yeah, I, I don't think I got one. Who is this? Uh, Steve Mass. Okay, Steve, I will uh, I will resend that to you. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, if, if, if you did, I, either I didn't get it or I overlooked it, but I, I don't think I got one. Okay. And I'm looking forward to it. Good. Anyone else? Any questions? 
Hey, Alex, Greg Keywood here. Greg, what's up, man? Hey, I'm just, I'm driving. Is there any chance you could send Brian's email and cell phone out um, in an email or, or so so that we've got it? Yes, I'll do that. Thank you very much. Guys, anything else for Brian or for me? Or I know Danny's on the line too. Any any questions about housing specifically um, that anyone might benefit from? How far are the are the laundry facilities? Or are there laundry at the houses? All the houses I've stayed at have a washer dryer right there, right in the house. Okay, thank you. Regarding the locker yeah. rooms, this is Danny speaking. I have somebody at Rustmat that's putting together specific information related to the locker rooms at every site. I expect to have that in a day or so. Once I do receive that specific locker room information, I will put out whether it's an infographic or a blast email with site locker room information. Hi, this is this is Rob Reed. Uh, I'm in the Osceola group. There are about six or eight of us in that. Uh, is there anything yeah. different or specific we need to know from a you know housing location or anything like that, or are we grouped in the same Davenport area? No. So the guys that are listed specifically at Osceola, obviously we have a, a site up at Osceola County Stadium, the old Astros facility, and. Uh, the guys that were up there working the majority, if not all, of their games um, at that facility, and um, th there will be a, a house a little bit closer to that facility. So all that really delineates is kind of a, a, a little bit of a difference in location in terms of where the house is. But in terms of all of the specifics that relate to, you know, how things will be communicated and all of those type of things sure. and and including, you know, everything that will be available. Th those are all the same. It's just um, we had the opportunity to get something uh, close to that facility, and um, so, so the housing people went ahead and did that, and obviously people were grouped up there just based on where their game locations were. So that, okay. that's, that's what's going on up there, Rob. Good. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, no, go ahead. One last thing real quick. Uh, the, the payment, you said it's due on the, the night, uh, the first night that we check in? Yep, yes, when you get there. And, and who do we make out the check to? Rustmat, comma, LLC. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Hey. Hey, guys, one other quick thing. I just got a call today, and I will address it in the next day or so. Anybody working at Lake Myrtle or Chain of Lakes will need a parking pass, and I will send that to the entire group, whatever the parking pass will be. We will identify that. We will send it to you. And the process will be that when you get there, you need to have that on your person, and it gets left on the dashboard. All right, guys, anything else? Speak now. All right, I appreciate you joining us tonight. Don't forget about the uh, procedural conference call next week on the 21st. Um, that'll that'll be the big one where we we talk about a lot of this this additional stuff. But we did want the guys who are in Rustmat Housing to have an opportunity in a smaller group to to like I said here and like we allowed to ask any questions and and just get kind of acclimated to the process and, and those kind of things. Um, we obviously have probably a pretty good number of people that aren't on this call that are staying in rust mat housing. Um, and I would ask that um, as much as you guys can, if you can pick up someone that just doesn't have quite all the information that maybe you do at this point to, 
relay some of these messages, make sure they pay before, make sure they know all that. If they're in your house, please do that. That's That'll go a long way in helping Brian and helping me and helping Danny with, with the admin side. So let's, let's try to work at this together um, as a team and, and get out of the way what we need to get out of the way administratively so, so we can focus on baseball games and umpiring and those type of things. So um, I appreciate all of you joining us tonight. And um, we will talk to you next Thursday. Again, please, if you are in a situation where that spreadsheet does not match up with what your expectations are for dates, um, can email Brian. Anything that you email to the RustMat account, we'll make sure Brian gets a hold of. Um, and I will send out uh, Brian's information here for you guys so that um, if you need to reach out to him, you have it if you're in the car and you didn't get a chance to take it down. So. Uh, have a good night, and uh, if anyone needs anything over the course of the next few days, uh, certainly reach out, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Good night, guys.